and welcome in another session of your course learning and teaching i am dr gorav singh your course instructor for the course on learning and teaching and in today's discussion we are going to talk about one more important aspect of learning have you ever thought how learning takes place where does learning take place can anyone learn anything if he or she want to learn at any time or it is the situation or the place of learning or the context of learning which also has any role in learning in today's discussion we are going to explore these questions and we will try so the topic of today's discussion is situated learning what do mean by situated learning what is situated learning as the name suggests that learning as it normally occurs is a function of the activity context and culture in which it occurs that is it is situated so the role of context culture is very important learning takes place in the circumstances for which learning is required so learning always have a situation it is the situation which decides whether the learning is required or not or what kind of learning is required so learning is always associated with the situation that's why learning is also called situated learning when we talk about situated learning we should not forget that the real and virtual situations are to be created by ourselves in our classroom to provide the opportunity to our learners if we will not create situations either real or virtual they will not learn what they are intended to learn so what situated learning wants actually situated learning asks us to shift from the individualistic to socio cultural context most of the learning takes place in socio cultural context so the importance of socio cultural context is very important there were basically two people jean lev and atini wenger who proposed the situated learning theory and when they proposed they basically proposed that situated learning theory is a model of learning in a community of practice so what was the idea if you read their article you will find that their focus was on the relationship between learning and the social situation in which the learning takes place so learning is always situational and the situation where learning is taking place has a very important role clev and panger were of the opinion that learning is a social process whereby knowledge is co constructed so again you can find the roots of situated learning theory in constructivist learning because constructivism believes that knowledge is co constructed or co created if you further read their article they have mentioned that learning is situated in a specific context and embedded within a particular social and physical environment so you can see that in the whole idea of lev and benger is about contextualization of learning so the same concept which you are presenting to the learners in north india has a different situational context and the same concept when it will be presented to the southern part of india it will have different situational context we should not forget the idea of lev and wenger when they were talking about community of practice that itself reflecting that whenever there is a community of practice means the people who are practicing a particular behavior in a particular given situation if learners are placed in that situation or that kind of situation is being created in the classrooms artificially then the learners will learn better let us talk about one more concept which was given by this levin banger that was legitimate peripheral participation so what is this legitimate peripheral participation in their book situated learning legitimate per peripheral participation lev and banger proposed 
that learning is an integral and inseparable aspect of social practice. So whenever there is a social practice, people are interacting in the society, learners are interacting in the society, they are learning. You cannot separate learning from social practices. They further explained that newcomers become the part of the community of practice when they enter into that and slowly, slowly they learn how to participate and they move towards full participation in the social practices. They have also written that learners' participation always entails situated negotiation and renegotiation of the meaning in the world. What does it mean? When learners start to participate in any given situation, they negotiate with the situation. They try to apply their knowledge, their understanding, their previous knowledge, their experiences to deal with that situation. And they also observe how others are dealing with that. So, with the support of others, with the encouragement and sharing of the ideas from others, they not only negotiate with the situation, but they also renegotiate and they create a new meaning. Learners understand and experience the world through the constant interaction by which they reconstruct their identities. So these are very important dimensions of legitimate peripheral participation. Further, it has been written that learners evolve the form of their membership in the community as the relationship between newcomers and old timers who share social practices changes. So the exchange of ideas is very important and motivation in situated learning is very important. Motivation is also situated because learners are naturally motivated by their growing values of participation and their desires to become full practitioners. So because they want to become full practitioner, they intrinsically get motivated and that motivation keep them on the path to learn. What are the basic principles of situated learning? The first basic principle is that knowledge needs to be presented in an authentic context. That is the setting and application that would normally involve that knowledge. So whatever is being taught to the learners or whatever is being presented by you to the learners, it should be authentic. Your example should be authentic. They should be realistic. Learners should be able to connect with these examples, with these ideas, because if you prepare or if you present something which is artificial to which they cannot connect, there is no situation which they can identify or they can recall, their learning will not take place. So for learning, authentic learning environment and authentic situation is essential. And the next basic principle is that learning requires social interaction and collaboration. More opportunity you will give to your learners for social interaction, they will collaborate more and they will learn more. Now let us see what are the elements of situated learning. The first element is content. What do you mean by content? There is no importance to the retention of knowledge in situated learning. Situated learning stresses on reflective and higher order thinking. And the results of the situated learning are basically used in solving problems faced in daily life. The second element is contexts. The place and situation where learning will take place, it can be social, psychological or material environment, but the context is very important. Contextualization of learning is very important because context creates a platform to examine the learning experiences. Next element is community. Community basically helps to create interpret, reflect, and form meanings. It provides opportunities to share the experiences among the learners and also to interact with each other. So community is an important aspect of situated learning and the participation. If learners are learning in the community, their participation is important. Participation means interchange of ideas, problem solving, engaging the learners, social settings, which include reflecting, interpreting, negotiating among the participants of the community. So what a teacher can do? Where you can use this? 
if you are doing something in a workshop in the kitchen in the greenhouse in the laboratory in the garden these places can be used as classrooms if realistic situation is not possible you can plan certain role plays like a stand up role playing which are like the real world settings you can use field trips you can use on the job training you can see that learning the sports music and arts generally takes place in real settings it is not possible to learn many things in artificial settings so with this i must say that situated learning is an important dimension of learning we should create certain situations authentic situations either real or artificial near to the real where a student can experience where a student can exchange the idea and where students can reflect on the ideas and they create their own meaning and they construct their own meaning i hope that this small discussion will help you in understanding the concept of situated learning and you will use it in your classroom to make your classroom as a authentic learning place thank you very much